Shabbat Shalom, everybody. As I was reflecting on this week's Torah portion, Bahar, which opens with the challenging commandments of Shemitah to let the land lie fallow um, every seventh year, and the Yovel, the Jubilee, which is the commandment to release debts every 50 years, um, it occurred to me that the central theme of this week's Torah portion is bitachon, bitachon meaning trust. And perhaps the central questions that we can ask ourselves about this Torah portion and about our own lives is what is the basic level of trust we have in ourselves, in others, in life, and in God? What reminds us of our capacity to trust, particularly when there is no evidence to the contrary? And sometimes as we live in the world in which we live, it feels as if there is not a whole lot to hold on to. The Israelites are asked to give up something of incredible value, farming for a full year where all of their food was reliant on their farming. And yet God told them, don't plant, don't harvest, don't reap for one year. Imagine that sense that they had to believe that God would provide. How can we trust in a force greater than ourselves, whether we call that force God or something else? Can we live in a world where we know that we are not in control and be okay with that? To let go and to trust. That is the message of this Torah portion, and that is the work that we get to do over the coming week. Shabbat Shalom.